So, welcome back to another settings guide. Uh, this is one of my favorite series of all time. I mean, this game isn't my favorite, but it is one of the best looking. Um, and it's the hardest to run, obviously. <laughs> so, I'm guessing people have got into it because of Bioshock Collection and whatnot. But uh, let's just get into it. Um, first off, I'm running at 4K. I have noticed some uh, irregularities at running at this resolution. I don't know if it's just the fact that this game hasn't been patched to work with the 10 series cards, but yeah, I mean, if you're running like a 900 series or an AMD equivalent or whatever, you might not have these issues, but uh, I'll point them out when they come up, basically. Um, yeah, so anti-aliasing, I don't know which technique they actually use here, but obviously you want that on. Um, there isn't that many jaggies in the game, it's, it's a beautiful looking game, Unity Engine, I think it is, yeah. Um, so, this one, basically, you want to target for high or ultra texture filtering. You probably want that at least on ultra. It's not that really that demanding. Uh, you could probably settle for high, but it's not going to make a huge difference. Dynamic shadows. So, this is when you start to get into, like, the where you see the DX11 thing. All the DX11 stuff is the, is the more demanding stuff, so... If you just concentrate on like, so it's got very high here. Um, I didn't I didn't realize it's got very high on some of them, but uh, yeah, as soon as you go down to there, that's probably where I'd recommend. Um, just if you if you want to save on performance and whatnot. Um, I think again it'll say that somewhere else. So this one I didn't like the way it looks in DX11, and it does uh, inhibit performance. So. Not really a fan of depth of field. Um, light shafts look beautiful in this game, but again, this is another thing that's going to be demanding. Uh, a bit like God rays, kind of. But I would say try to have them on. Uh, ambient occlusion again. You see these uh, DX11 things, so you could set up a normal, but obviously I'm running at ultra, and distances so this is probably one of the ones that you will straight away if you're having problems just go and switch that down to high and then i guess you could have like a normal but it depends on how much like vram you have and how much ram you have in your system and whatnot uh so i've got frame locked off um because i'm using fast sync if you've got an nvidia i, I recommend you switch that and in your control center uh but yeah if you're using like g-sync or something like that i don't think you have to really lock frame rate um i've already locked my screen to 60 fps so that's fine and then that's about it really there's not a huge amount of options here but it's good enough um let's get to it i do love the way this game looks Beautiful. Who lit all these candles for me? Which way do I go again? <laughs> I totally forgot which way to go. Oh, Excuse down here. me. Where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. So one of the things I think let this game down this is is the enemy variety. Um, it doesn't have as much enemies as the first one, like, different enemies. You don't really go up against people with plasmids and stuff like that. Or biggers, as they call them this. Also, like, a lot of the character models look the same. Like, the people in the... Our founders and our lord. I just need passage into the city. But besides that, it's really it's like I spent a lot of time just looking at Brother, stuff. Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? It's an adversary turn. You know what I'm realizing? Hey, this I don't see many I churches in this. You in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, Besides in the this. name of our Lord. So the welcome sent as a church. Oh, 
kind of. I don't know, brothers and sisters. Ah, but they worship the founders. But this one doesn't look clean to me. <laughs> Just drown me. Who's there? Who's there? Bring us the curb and wipe away the debt. What do you want? We had a deal to it. Oh, it's dropping off 0.1 bit of fluctuation. See, it's a founding fathers. That idiot priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning him. I need to find a landmark and figure out so what this is where you see in the life chart. Prophet fills our lungs with water, so they I'm may surprised that's not dropping. Reminds me of um. He who crossed the Delaware with flaming sword and wings of Reminds me of Fallout 4. No These life chart. Just because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right, so we go. Yeah, as you can see, it's keeping pretty solid there. Uh, it's still doing. You see the, you see the shadows on the buildings floating in the background. It's still like shaking. As you can tell, though, oh my god, this game like built to impress, really. Set a bit bright. Let's walk through to the back. But oh my god, if you're gonna get this game, get the DLC. So lovely seeing Rapture like with this engine. Um just the art style, it's just stunning, really. I actually prefer the art style from kind of the first ones, even though this is similar. I like how the uh, the meter there is keeping at 99% and like 98%. Just skimming, just skimming. What's possible? It's not getting very hot as well. CPU usage is way down. Look at that, 20%. Columbia Raffle and Fair. He's strong in the sword, but a bit weak in the key. Is this girl? Let's get to the market. And then that'll be about it. A building docking there. The market's the most demanding place in here. Yeah, that's where they said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt! Huh. Telegram for you, sir. Mr. DeWitt. DeWitt. Do is not it like, alert do it, Comstock do it now. to your presence. Stop. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not Just take do it. 77. <laughs> Stop. You touch. By good day to you, sir. Hello. Yeah, here's a market. You've got loads of people in it and people doing different stuff. Would you believe me? Uh, I see. If I told beginning. you a man could hoist a one ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friend, Let's get into the main bit of the market. See, so yeah, I've got it to drop there. Ooh, 45. The amazing power of Bucking Bronco. That's Whether just you need it for a moment while it loads in stuff. Bounces back. Just trying to get it to crash, really. See, you're never going to get this many amount of people in a battle and stuff like that. And effects and what have you. Boxer 
Yeah, let's Master get through this bit and then uh, I'll make it to the bit where you throw the... What's it? The baseball? Uh, the couple? The interracial couple? <laughs> How lovely. Well, uh, it's time to take back control. Oh my god. I was like, oh, that's gonna be CPU intensive. 9%. <laughs> skip. skip the hell was that? As you can tell, the menus aren't really made for 4K. Sorry, pal. The raffle is all sold out. <laughs> well, if it isn't assemblyman Buford, your spot at the raffle awaits. Heads. Or tails. Come on, let me through. Heads. Or tails. Huh. Tails. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. <laughs> I suppose there is. They are two of the best characters in this. Except Elizabeth. My role model? Pretty interesting. When did you get there? This little beauty. They are definitely the comic relief of the story. So it should drop just before I get to the market. Because there's loads of people. There we are. See how it just bounces back though. Just loading stuff in for a second. The, what is it? Unity engine? Unreal engine. Is it Unreal or Unity? Uh, one of them. It doesn't really pipeline well. The 1912 raffle has officially begun! Mister! Mister! Sorry, no sale. <laughs> Silly, there's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? Yeah, you see how the shadows are a bit off on her face. 77. Flickering. And... That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me the bowl! Is that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Colombia? <laughs> all right then. The winner is number 77. Oh, well, what do you know? Over here. Over here. He's the winner. Number 77, come and claim your prize. Oh, look. First throw. He got weird arms. Lovely. Come on! Are you gonna throw it? Or are you taking your coffee black these days? I'm gonna throw it at you, mate. <laughs> oh! Looks like we've got a shy one here! Oops. Oh, he can't throw it at him. It's him! I tried to throw it at the announcer. Now. Where'd you get that I thought you just did left and right, but don't you know not. that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd? <laughs> and we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys. <laughs> Look, it's a ball. No, it's a hook in your face. Oh, it's triangle, isn't it? There we are. Come on now. Come on. Disconnect. Disconnect. Boom. Boom. Hold it. See what I mean about there not being that many enemies. Yeah, a slight drop there in the, in the little uh, quick time event that is execution. This way, cover the gate. I think I've got it on 99 now. I have. Alright, I think that's probably enough. Uh, yeah, I hope that was helpful. Um, 
I hope that they patch this game up a bit for 10 series cards or whatever that weird uh, shadow flickering is in the background there. But yeah, have a good one. Uh, I highly recommend the first two games in the collection. Uh, whatever you're playing them on. But yeah, have a good one.